Welcome back, Chaos Corner. We are on piece five of the Halloween Village. This is the crypt. Now the crypt is a special piece that's made to fit specifically on the base that goes with these buildings. But I'm going to attempt to have a way for the base to be used as is or the base of the crypt, have the crypt be used as is without the official base. So, but that will be later. Today is just the painting of the crypt. Um, it's going to be kind of easy because we're dealing with grass, maybe some dirt, some tombstones, and some skulls, and of course the mausoleum. And speaking of dirt, I need to get a brown. So I have a couple colors picked out. I've got a Kelly green, a cool blue, a china blue, a dark gray, regular old brown, and vanilla, which is kind of like an off-white, because the bones wouldn't be white white, you know, if they've just been dug up, um, they'd be kind of a off-white because they wouldn't be bleached by the sun very much. Um, so sitting here trying to figure out which part am I going to paint first. I think I'll do the mausoleum first. And the mausoleum we're going to do um, a couple base coats of, well not base coats, a couple coats of the gray, the blues, maybe some of the vanilla. Mostly it's going to be dry brushed after I get on the gray. Okay, for those of you who are are just joining us, dry brushing is a technique where you put paint on your brush and then you wipe it back off to a point that you have almost nothing left on the brush. And then you kind of flick it on and you build it up slowly. I'm always a little bit too impatient to dry brush. I always want more color on faster. Especially when I'm going from a dark color to a light color. The reason why I've picked out some light shades of blue is because they're almost like a blue-gray. And we don't want just flat gray. We want to build some character and some color into this mausoleum. Because just a flat color is boring. You can see that I'm not trying to hide my brush strokes because rock shows tool marks and things of that nature. You know, it's not completely smooth no matter how much it's tooled.
I'm going to go ahead and do some of the tombstones, or not some, but all of the tombstones. The reason why I'm doing the tombstones first is that way if I get anything down on the grass it's easy to hide and I don't have to go back over it. This gray is almost looking metallic, but it's not. It's not a metallic. It's just a plain old dark gray, no name brand. In between colors, I'm really not going to clean my brush. Now this time I'll probably take my time a little bit more. So here's how it's looking so far. Just a touch of other color. Now I really am just kind of dry brushing wherever I feel like. I just want a little bit of this other color on the rest. Not a lot. And I almost forgot something. I've got a little door that when I had this part made, I had the door cut away. I 
need it to match. I'll have to do a couple coats on that. It's still a little tacky. Just a little bit of this even lighter blue. Too much. Too much, too much, too much. See, I'm too impatient to dry brush. But what I do when I do that, I just work from that area where I put in too much and work it out. So it's still not a big problem. There is mausoleum finished. Unless I decide I want to go back and do some details, but I think I'm good. Okay, now I'm going to do a green, and this green I chose as a Kelly green. It's um, one shade lighter than what I made my green flocking. Um, that video will come up later. The video is uh, how to make flocking. And what flocking is, is basically the fuzzy stuff that you put on to models to make it look like there's really grass growing. And I have found how to make my own. So I'll be trying that. So on this, I'm just going in and putting green down. So that way when I put the flocking on, if I don't get the flocking everywhere, I don't have a, too dark of a spot left. I am working the paint into the grooves, but not like saturating. Just enough to color the black. I'm going to pause here and I'll come back after I'm done painting. Okay. I have the mausoleum done. 
I have the grass, I have the tombstones, I have the door to the mausoleum with a hand. I will put some, probably some rotten flesh tone on it. Um, now there's these two grave sites that look like they've been dug up a little bit. So I'm going to do some brown. Probably not a whole lot of brown because I might actually put some brown flocking down to make it look like real dirt. But again, a little coat of brown that way in case something doesn't get covered you're not seeing just straight black this one over here on this side almost looks like it's a maybe supposed to be a zombie crawling out with the way things are positioned now I think what I'm gonna do is water down a little bit of the brown and go ahead and put like a brown wash over the bones. And then dab it back just a little bit. So that way when I put on the vanilla, there'll be some kind of highlights going on. This one kind of looks like more freshly uh, covered grave, or recovered for that matter. And then there's a skull right here. So again, I'm going to go ahead and put some brown on that skull. and then tap it back a little bit. And I did the same thing. There's some rocks. There's some rocks in here. I put some of the gray on and then tapped it back so that it looked just a little bit different from the tombstones. Okay. Now the vanilla. I think I'm going to attempt to blot it back. We'll see. It helps with the creep factor just a little bit. When I cleaned my brush, I didn't dry it that much, so the cream is a low quality cream, and it's going on a bit wetter than normal though, so that's helping with some of this creep factor. And 
this one more or less dry brushing because as I started that's how my brush was set up and it looked like it did a great job. And that is the crypt done for now because I will be showing it again and I will be flocking it. There we are. Oh, not quite. Dry brush this little hand. Alright, that is the crypt finished for now. Um, I'll be doing another video with it later on with the flocking and attaching the door. Um, possibly doing some glow in the dark paint on it. And until the special effects episodes, that is it for the crypt. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell notification button down there so that you are notified every time I upload. And hit the thumbs up button. It really does help just that little bit. Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next one.